So Pedantic AI just released their agent framework. And in this video, I will share everything that you need to know to get started to build an AI agent using Pedantic AI framework. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jay. I am a freelance data analytics consultant, and I've been building custom data and AI solutions for the past seven years. Now, before diving into the code examples, I want to briefly cover the framework. Pedantic AI is, of course, created by the team that developed Pedantic, a very popular Python library for data validation and settings management. Leveraging Pydantic's robust foundation, Pydantic AI aims to simplify generative AI agents' development for production by providing streamlined tools for validation, configuration, and seamless integration into complex workflows. In the past, I have used OpenAI's Swarm framework to build AI agents. While the Swarm framework was definitely very easy to use, it lacked many important default features, such as structured outputs, limited integration with non-OpenAI models, and most importantly, it was an experimental project that will neither be supported nor updated in the future. And Pedantic AI addressed all those issues. Currently, Pydantic AI is my go-to framework for LLM agents development. If you are coming from OpenAI Swarm, there will be a bit of learning curve involved as Pydantic AI uses decorators for some of the core operations. When it comes to supported models, right now, Pydantic AI supports OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, Alama, Grok, and Maestral. If you are using models outside those providers, you can implement your own custom class to support non-default models. Now to get started, launch the terminal and run the command pip install Pydantic AI. Depending on the generative AI model provider you are using, if models are not part of the default supported models, you may need to install the provider's Python library. For this demonstration, I will use OpenAI's generative AI models since that's what most people use nowadays. For this demonstration, I will share how to build a simulated weather agent. Open a blank Python file and name it loadmodels.py. I will be using this module to preload generative models to save me some typing. To pass a model ID or models ID from pydenticai.models. Reference the provider's module and import the corresponding model class. In Pydantic AI, there are two ways to pass a model ID. One is to hard code the model name that is listed in Pydantic AI's supported list. And the other method is to initialize the model directly using just the model name. Personally, I prefer the latter approach as it avoids the need for the model name to be listed in Pydantic AI's built-in model list. And if a new model is released, the first approach is going to fail. Now open a new Python file and name it weatheragents.py. Import the Python library showing on the screen. If you are new to Pydantic, base model class is used to define fields with data validation, strict typing enforce, and other features. And field gives you the capability to embed additional attributes. I will go through agent, model retry, and run context once we get into the example. From load models, import OpenAI model. To start out using the base model, let's create a class called depths to define the input dependencies for the agent. Pydantic AI uses dependency injection to supply variables and objects for your agents to use. In this case, we will use the depths class to define the API keys. Now create an AI agent using the agent class and let's call the agent weather agent. Agents are essentially Pydantic AI's primary interface for interacting with LLMs. If we look at the agent we define, name defines the name of the agent typically used for logging purpose. Model and system prompts controls the agent's default behavior and knowledge base, and depth type for dependency injection. 
This parameter exists uh, solely to allow you to fully parameterize the agent to get the best out of static type checking. If you're not using depths, you can set the value to none. If you want the agent to output a specific structure type, you can provide the data object to the result type parameter. This is essentially the same thing as structured outputs. To give an agent access to functions to use, create the functions first, then assign the agent tool decorator to add a function to his tool set. In Pydentic AI, there are two tool decorators. One is tool decorator, designed to add a function which takes run context as its first argument. The other one is a tool plane decorator, which does recognize run context as an argument. For the latitude and longitude function, let's assume that the function takes the weather API key from the CTX run context dependency argument and location query from the location description argument and pass those two items to the params object that will be included in a simulated API call to get the coordinate data. For the output, if the keywords London and San Francisco are in the location description, I will return the hard-coded dictionary object that contains the coordinate detail. Otherwise, I will raise a model retry exception to ask if agent should call a function again. Just to clarify, a run context is the dependency object you supplied with the depth type parameter. You use the run context to read the dependency values. I just noticed in the print statement it should be location description, not Q. To get the weather information, I will create another function that takes a location's coordinate. And I will add the function to the agent's toolset using the tool decorator. Now that we have everything prepared, let's insert the main routine to run the weather agent. First, I will prepare the dependency that contains the API keys for the agent to make API calls. Then we will use the run sync function to send a request along with the dependency to be passed to the tools and print the output. In this example, I will ask the weather agent to return the weather information of both San Francisco and London. When the weather agent retrieves the weather information, it will first call the getLatitudeLongitude function to get the coordinate for San Francisco and London. Then it will call the getWeather function to get the weather detail for the two locations. Now let's run the script and give it a try. Oh. I forgot to comment out other models. If we look at the results, it returns London is 70 degrees and snowing, while in San Francisco, it is 100 degrees and windy. This is just a very basic example showcasing how to create a generative AI agent using the Pydentic AI framework. I will cover more examples and detailed use cases in future videos to explore the framework in depth. So stay tuned and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.